Hi, my name is David Neiman, and I'm going to be giving you a quick fix on how to bring video off of a DSLR into Final Cut. Uh, now, when you bring video off of a DSLR, uh, you're going to want to convert it because uh, the, the codec that it's saved in on the camera, H.264, is very compressed, and Final Cut has a hard time editing that. Uh, the way you're going to do that is you'll need a plugin um, called the e the Canon E1 plugin for Final Cut. It's free and it's provided on Canon's website. I will also include a link in the description of this. Uh, but after you have your after you have Final Cut set up with uh, your cache and your uh, render directory through system settings, you're going to go to Final Login Transfer. This is after you have the plugin installed. Uh, you're going to go up here and find your camera's memory card. Uh, now, if I had the memory card, uh, the camera just plugged in over, um, would show up over here. Uh, but I actually copied the entire folder structure off the camera onto my computer just to save it if I needed it for later. So um, I'm going to show you an example of a project in which I had some video. So here you'll see that inside of this folder, I have the DCIM folder that would be in the camera. And you want to make sure that you click the DCIM folder, um, which would be on the memory card or wherever. You're going to open that. And it's going to go ahead and add all of the video on the memory card. It takes a second. But once it's in, you can change the all of the clip information over here when you're logging it for each individual separate video. And that will come in with the video. When you're done changing those uh, the different notes over here, uh, you can drag these into here and it will begin converting and save to your render directory. Uh, and when that's done, it'll bring it right over here into your project. So that is the way to bring video off of a camera and edit smoothly. Uh, you'll have, uh, you'll have um, under preferences for the E1 plugin here. You can change the format that brings it in as, uh, I usually use ProRes 422 but uh, you can change that to your uh, whatever your project needs. On the next video, I'm going to cover how to fix uh, if you don't bring in um, video from your camera as ProRes or some other codec like that. If you bring it in as H.264 and begin editing, I'll show you how to fix that.